Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to do this video showing um, this larger cell. This has currently been running for um, just under 10 minutes at over 20 amps. Um, my guess is that is now sitting on about uh, 26 amps. Um, the terminals here are bolted instead of using the clips so it um, connects better. Uh, as far as hot spots, it's a little bit hot up around um, the amp gauge because it's you know it's only really designed for 20 amps, and also around the fuse here it's quite hot. This is a 30 amp fuse, but it is quite hot, even though it's designed to to run at 30 amps. Uh, that's probably the hottest spot on the whole connection. That balloon is is wanting to take off on its own, as you can see, and it's already bigger than um, than uh, the last balloon was. It's filled up considerably bigger in a smaller period of time. But then, you know, it's running at more amps, so I would expect it to. Um, I'm going to try two things. I'm going to turn this off because that's big enough now. I made it a little bit bigger because I want to try something that someone suggested, which was to uh, let one-third of the air out of the bottom of this hold it really still and do that and um, see uh, if it just leaves the hydrogen uh, I'll, I'll test that in two different ways one I'll, I'll see how quickly it, it rises I'll um, uh, do that before and after and then I'll also uh, light it tonight and um, see what type of flame it puts out how it burns so yeah I'll tie that up I'll, actually I won't tie it up I'll just put the camera in a better spot so that uh, you can see me letting the uh, hopefully the oxygen out. Okay, I've been holding this fairly still and upright for a minute or so and I'm going to very slowly just ease up my fingers and try and let out some of the air, or some of the oxygen I should say, and um, until it gets roughly one third the size smaller. The hydrogen you know, is wanting to lift the balloon pretty well, so hopefully that means the hydrogen is all sitting in the top two thirds of the balloon. Okay, so here's the balloon, it's roughly one third the size now, and um, let that go. I'd say that's pretty much the same speed as what it was doing it before. I have to look back on the um, look back on the uh, Big Bang video and uh, see what that one looked like when I let it go. I just wanted to show you this balloon. Um, this is one I filled up two days ago. Uh, in fact, it's the one you saw on the Big Bang video that I filled up. Uh, and yeah, it's just been sitting, and as you can see, it will no longer float on its own. Um, best guess is uh, that the hydrogen has basically escaped, being that it's a much finer gas. It's escaped from the, through the plastic and just left the oxygen. So, um, yeah, and funnily enough, it's pretty much one third the size of what it was to start with, so that kind of makes sense. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share some new results. Today I tested this cell with the bubble testing. Uh, I did it in two different ways. First way, I used all of the plates and uh, did a, a positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive system. And it didn't perform as well as either of the smaller big plates that I tested. Um, and then I wired it up again, and I wired it up so that it, it had uh, uh, positive two neutrals and a negative, and then one of the plates wasn't being used. And I did those tests, and those ones were actually a bit more interesting. Basically, it showed that um, at 12 and a half amps, actually it was only running at 12 and a quarter amps, it outperformed both of the other cells, um, putting out uh, 300 milliliters. But everywhere else, it was either roughly the same, or um, you know, a little bit worse. Uh, at 20 amps it was putting out the same as the small cell 
and down towards the bottom at 5 amps it was putting out uh, 110 which um, is about the same as the big cell so yeah I just thought that was interesting it kind of uh, stays along the, the, the point I was saying the other day about um, the cell being uh, you know the right size for the right amps um, the other test I did was to test this one at 20 amps and at 20 amps it was still improving it put out 500 milliliters um, and as you can see it's it's still curving upwards okay I just wanted to do one more quick bubble test while this is um, running at um, like 26 odd amps it's about the um, the most amps that I can run it uh, with this equipment so I'll turn it on Got a stopwatch here, and now I'll uh, fast forward this video so that you don't have to watch it for so long. Okay, I've got about five seconds to go, and that's it. Looks like it's about 640, 640 milliliters. All right, so I've uh, added that um, 26 amps into this graph here, and I've also added another line across here, just to, in case this one was being too generous. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's gone right up through my writing, but um, it's still performing quite well. It hasn't dropped off at all at those high amps. It's it's pretty much leveled out with um, where it was at 20 amps. Okay, it's um, now night time. Um, I've just come back into uh, my workshop after probably about uh, five or six hours since I filled up this um, this blue balloon. And I've uh, sort of found it not floating anymore, uh, or barely floating. It's um, a lot of the gas has already escaped, so I'm have, I've emptied it out and I'm refilling it, and then I'll um, redo that, uh, letting the oxygen out, and and I'll go and blow it up in a sec because now it's night time. I don't have to wait. Okay, so there it is. It actually um, feels like it's worked better than the last one. It feels like it's got a bit faster lift. Anyway, enough screwing around. Let's go uh, blow shit up. Okay, here we go. It's still very, very loud. Holy crap. That should be an interesting one. <laughs>